Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales and I wanted to make this super quick video for those Shopify developers out there that want to uh, have an app in the App Store, uh, a public app, and they want to change the URLs for whatever reason. Maybe they're doing a reorganization, maybe they're selling the app to someone else, uh, maybe they're rebranding, they want to change the domain or change the URLs, etc. Uh, and we've done it in the past and we had a small issue and I wanted to make a, share this, um, something that we forgot and then we fixed super quickly. So first thing, uh, this is just a sample back end, obviously I made one for the video. Um, so when you create your app, uh, in the app setting itself, you'll have different URLs for different uh, things depending on what the app is, right? Uh, so obviously you have your app URL and you have all your URLs here and you have uh, your customer data, ob obviously the endpoints for things like GDPR and uh, if you have an app proxy depending on what you have. Um, so uh, what you need to do obviously is change the URLs on all of these right here in the app setup. Uh, it's pretty obvious you change the URLs. For example, you change domains, just change all the domains everywhere, everywhere, everywhere uh, change. Now the reason we made this video is um, Obviously, you cannot just change that. So for your web hooks, for example, if you want to change the URLs, which in general, if you're changing a domain or something like that, you have to, uh, which is, this is something we forgot. You need to actually use APIs for that. Uh, so I'll link this in the YouTube uh, video in the, uh, in the description, but you have to use, you have to modify your web hooks to make sure they're using the correct new URL. This is something we forgot to do. It just, we overlooked it for a second. Uh, and I just want to share this video. It's a really simple video, but don't forget, uh, in addition to changing all your app setup URLs everywhere, make sure you also, uh, modify your existing web hook. Very, very simple, uh, API to trigger. Um, but don't forget to do that. You need your, your token, obviously, uh, with, you know, with your own system should have it. Make sure you do, you update your URLs, verify them by listing them, right? You can retrieve a list of webhooks and you obviously modify them and you're good to go. Uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Just a reminder for you guys not to make a mistake like us. Uh, looking forward. Thanks for watching our videos. If you like this, subscribe. We'll be making a lot more videos about all kinds of topics, not just web, not just Shopify, uh, not just, uh, you know, e-commerce, not just all of that. Anything that we can help that we provide insight we make on this channel. Appreciate it.